Welcome to uh, the next episode of this series on disability views on travel with COVID-19. In this episode, we are asked uh, these individuals, what are their funniest moments from traveling? So here we go. Okay, so this is probably um, when I went to visit my family in Canada and I had my Uncle Joey drive me back to the airport, who's very Ro Robin Williams, looks like Robin Williams, is as funny as Robin Williams. Um, and he basically walked me back through the airport and he went as far as humanly possible until we got separated. And at which point he basically fake cried and bawled and how did the old, you know, full on crying, distraught thing for as long as I could see him. And this went on for minutes. And um, yeah, it's super funny. And the, yeah, so I got on the aircraft, I was super happy and not as heartbroken as I expected to be. So um, in honor of my Uncle Joey now, whenever I drop someone off at the airport, I do the fake bawling thing as far as possible as well, just for the giggles. There's a, there's a few around alcohol and being drunk in general. I suppose a very particular funny one was in Tenerife. We went from our hotel in Los Cristianos and went for like dinner by the beach and went a bit further, went a bit further for drinks and drinks and ended up in Las Americas and played the Las Americas and um, had a great night out clubbing and met all sorts of cool new people. And then my wheelchair ran out and um, I ended up having to get pushed by my mates in a very heavy wheelchair a long way at like five in the morning. Um, and my stepbrother was also drunk and too tired to help, jumped a hitch on the back, which didn't particularly help the others that were already struggling to push the wheelchair. So that's definitely one funny moment to share. This one has to be um, a memory from Barcelona. Um, my husband and I were strolling down the beach, um, just, you know, enjoying, enjoying the sunshine. Um, my husband was doing some people watching, i.e. checking out some women on the beach. And um, all of a sudden, my wheelchair, which he was pushing, which I was sat in, um, banged into a lamppost. <laughs> so uh, there's, a, there's a lesson for you. If you're in charge of somebody else's wheelchair, make sure you're looking where you're going. And try to keep it clean. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm... Can you see me struggling? <laughs> I was struggling, yeah. <laughs> had lots of great moments uh, and funny times when I've been traveling particularly when you you book um, assistance um, I find that uh, crew on board the aircraft uh, staff on board the train are more than happy to, to look after me uh, to introduce themselves to spend time during the flight talking having a chat sharing something about their lives um, and really just getting to know people and, and having a laugh and, and, and understanding a little bit more about them um, because I need the extra assistance, they take some more time to, to share some of their lives with me. There you have it, some real crackers in there. Um, you know, being drunk in charge of a wheelchair is not always a good thing. You lose control of how much battery you've got left and relying on others. Um, to some, you know, some really interesting ones there, including John's at the end. You know, for him, it's more about the experience that he has with staff and, you know, them making the journey enjoyable for him rather than so much what's being you know maybe a key moment you know of travel for him so that's really interesting as well